Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture in the course Theory of Computation. In the last lecture we have seen an introduction about the course Theory of Computation and in this lecture we will be studying of about some of the prerequisites that is some of the basic important things that you need to know before starting with our finite state machine. All right, so let's get started. So in this lecture we will be studying about some terms like symbol, alphabet, string, language, and even some more that would follow. We will study what this means and what they are used for. Okay, so let's start with symbol. So what is a symbol? Anything like A, B, C, 0, 1, 2, 3, anything like this used to represent something is known as a symbol. It could be anything like A, B, C, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. That is a very simple and the most basic part of it. And let's come to the second one, alphabet. An alphabet is denoted by sigma and an alphabet is a collection of symbols. A collection of symbols denoted by sigma is known as alphabets. Okay, so we can take some examples. Some examples would be example. Uh, we can say A, B, see it's a collection of two symbols A and B or we could even have more like D, E, F, G the collection of these four symbols also could be an alf alphabet or we could even have uh, numbers like 0, 1, 2 and so on. Okay, so a collection of symbols denoted by sigma is known as alphabet. Now let's come to this third one, string. What is a string? A sequence of symbols is known as sing, string. Sequence of symbols. Strings actually it means a sequence of symbols. Now let's take some examples. Some examples would be like, uh, let me write it here. A, B just by itself or zero by itself, one by itself. Okay, just by itself also we can call it a string or we could have other sequences like AA, BB, AB or zero, one and so on. Okay, so a sequence of symbols is known as a string. Okay, now let's come to the next one, language. Now what is a language? A language is actually a set of strings. A set of strings, okay, let me just write it nicely. A set of strings, a set of strings is known as a language. And we can have some example over here. This will become clear with example. Okay, to take an example, let's say that uh, the alphabet that is here, sig denoted by sigma, the alphabet that I have is the two digits 0 and 1. 0 and 1 are my my alphabets. And now try let's try to define some languages over this alphabet 0, 1. So let me say I have language L1 which is the set of all strings of length 2. The set of all strings of length 2. So what would they be? They would be my alphabets are 0 and 1. So what will be the set of all strings of length 2 over 0, 1? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So these are the set of all strings of length 2 over the alphabets 0 and 1. Now let's take another example L2. Now L2 is uh, the set of all strings of length 3. Set of all strings of length 3. Now what would this be? My alphabets are 0 and 1. So what would be the set of all strings of length 3? I guess I guess you have already thought about it. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 
1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, of okay let us uh, say that it is not it is the set of all strings that begin with zero the set of all strings with which uh, begins with zero is l3 so my uh, alphabet sets are still zero and one so what would they be they would be like zero 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 and 0 0 0 0 and it goes on this is actually an infinite set so the two examples that we took here l1 and l2 these two l l1 and l2 they are finite sets they are finite sets. Why? Because they have finite number of elements. Here we have four elements. Here we had eight elements. But this L3, L3 is a infinite set. It is an infinite language. Why? Because this goes on. This does not end. There are infinite number of elements in this set. So I think by taking these examples L1, L2 and L3 over these alphabets 0 and 1, the concept of language became clear to us. So language are a set of strings over some alphabets. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Now the next thing that we need to discuss is known as powers of sigma. Powers of sigma. So this is the next thing that we will be discussing. Okay, now to demonstrate this, let me take uh, an example again. Suppose my alphabet set is again 0, 1. My alphabet sigma is 0, 1. Now, I'm going to define the powers of sigma. So first of all, let me define sigma power 0. Now what is sigma power 0? Sigma power 0 is a set of all strings of length 0. This is equal to the set of all strings of length of length 0 now what would this be uh, I would be I would denote this using sigma power 0 and this is denoted by a special symbol called epsilon this epsilon is used to denote the set of all strings of length 0 denoted by sigma power 0. So remember that epsilon means it is a set of all strings of length 0. Okay, so that was about a set of all strings of length 0. Now let us come to the next one, sigma power 1. I think you have already guessed what it is. Sigma power 1 is a set of all strings of length 1. Now what would that be? That is sigma power 1 is equal to what would that be? 0 and 1. The set of all strings of length 1 are 0 and 1. Here is 0. The length of this is just 1, and the length of this one is also just 1. So the all the set of strings of length 1 is sigma power 1. Okay, so the next one is sigma power 2 which is a set of all strings of length 2. So what would they be? Sigma power 2, I hope you have already guessed it. They are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. These are the set of all strings of length 2. See here? 1, 2, 
one two one two one two. So these are the set of all strings of length two denoted by sigma power two. And then the next one is sigma power three, which is the set of all strings of length three. Okay, so what would they be? I know you must have guessed it. They are zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero and one one one. So these are the set of all strings of length three. See, there are three one two three one two three one two three and so on. So these are all the uh, sets of strings of length three denoted by sigma power three. And then it goes on like that, and then it comes to sigma power n. Sigma power n is the set of all strings of length. What would be the length? What would be the length? The length would be n. Sigma power n would be the set of all strings of length n. Okay, so that was about the powers of sigma. Sigma power 1, 2, 3 up to n. So the next term that we need to discuss is known as cardinality. Cardinality. So I hope you already, some of you may already know what is the meaning of cardinality. Cardinality actually it means the number of elements in a set. Number of elements in a set. This is known as cardinality. So let us quickly check what are the cardinality of uh, these powers of sigma. So sigma power 0 has only one element so the cardinality is 1 and in sigma power 1 there are two elements 1 2 so the cardinality is 2 and for sigma power 2 it is 4 1 2 3 4 and for sigma power 3 it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the cardinality is 8 and what about sigma power n in sigma power n it, it is a set of all strings of length n so what would be the cardinality the cardinality of sigma power n would be the cardinality of sigma power n would be 2 power n right so this is the formula that is followed for the cardinality if if the um, alphabet is over two digits just 0 and 1 so for, for the sigma power n the cardinality is 2 power n okay so let's come to the last term that we need to discuss that is sigma star sigma star so in this sigma star, the star can be replaced with sigma power 0 union, sigma power 1 union, sigma power 2 union, sigma power 3 and so on. It goes on. So let us put the values here and see what would we get. Sigma power 0, what is it? We have seen here already. Sigma power 0 is epsilon. Sigma power 1 is 0, 1. Sigma power 2 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and so on. So let us put it over here. Sigma power 0 is just epsilon union. Sigma power 1, what is it? It is 0, 1. Union. Sigma power 2 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And union sigma power 3, we know it is this one. So it goes on like this. So what are these? This can be represented or written as the set of all possible strings of all lengths over. 0, 1. It is a set of all possible strings of all lengths of all lengths over what alphabet? 0 and 1. So this sigma power star is the set of all possible strings of all lengths over 0 and 1. Okay, so since we have taken our alphabet as 0, 1, so that is why we have written over 0, 1. So depending on the kind of alphabet that you take, you have to write this. So can you guess whether this is a finite set or, infi or an infinite set? Yes, I hope you have guessed it right. This is an infinite set because this goes on. 
Okay, so those were the prerequisites or some of the basic important things that you need to know before starting with our finite state machines. So if you have understood this, we are ready to start with our finite state machines, which we will be starting in the next lecture. So see you in the next one. Thank you.